there's so much more we could do but to close out this section of the course we've done our cash workflow categorize add and show I can't stress enough a good content audit is the first thing you should do when you're building your Joomla site know what the articles are going to be what categories they need to go in and the menu structure you'll create based on that structure now the last thing we want to cover in this section is the article options this used to be called global parameters I like the word options a lot better because this allows us to set the general options for our entire site but then we can override them at the menu level and the article level as we've already seen in the first tab articles we can choose a layout and generally speaking unless your template gives you multiple layouts for articles you'll just get that default one there do we want to show the title of the article well that's usually a good thing and do we want to link the title well again that's usually a good thing do you want to show the intro text now this is an interesting feature in Joomla you can have a completely different introduction in a blog layout for instance so whatever comes before the read more shows up in the blog layout but then when you click on the article whatever's there disappears because you're in the full text layout and I've used this on multiple sites in different ways that just depends on what you want to do with your site where do you want the article information and that article information is these details where do you want that to show up above or below the article again that's up to you this is some of the things I usually show the category on a blog but not necessarily on my whole site so I'm going to show that change that to hide because I'm hiding the category doesn't matter if I link to it or not will I show the parent I'm gonna hide that or I'm going to leave that hidden this is a site not a blog so I'm going to hide the author hide the publication date I'm gonna leave the navigation navigation is what is the next and previous buttons you get in a blog layout but I'm definitely going to leave the voting hidden I'm gonna show the read more and I'm gonna show the title with the read more Google really likes that that's an SEO thing I'm gonna show the tags at the top of the article but here I'm gonna definitely hide the hits because really nobody wants to see those and I'm gonna put the links at the bottom just in case I ever add any I'm gonna click Save and now once I hit refresh watch what happens to the details area boom it's gone I don't have any tags in the museum if I click on Joomlaville overview you'll now see the tags there at the top and this drop down allows me to print or email and there you see all of the navigation and so very quickly across my entire site I can actually change the look and feel of that layout also here under options I have an editing layout screen do I want to show publishing options article options enable versions we haven't looked at that yet we'll look at that shortly that's a fantastic feature in Joomla it allows me to have version control over every article on the front end if I'm going to allow editors to edit the front end do I want to let them see the images area that we just looked at in the previous video I almost always turn that to show in the category section here the blog layout I'm going to show the subcategories text hide the title description and image and how many subcategory levels do I want to go down if there are no articles in a particular category it'll say them eh, there's no articles in this category and so on when I click on categories top level description I can show or hide so if I would put a description in any of those categories it would have shown up all the sub level categories for article category options empty categories I'm gonna hide those again you see the rest blog and featured layouts as you remember I said one article four intros two columns and four links we overrode that in our blog layout but this is the default and if I change this to all it'll show all the subcategories at the bottom of a blog layout list layouts what do I want to show and hide here display date display select filter field table headings show date date format and this is a fantastic feature 
in Joomla, you can actually change the format of your date structure to fit better wherever you are in the world. Show hits and show author. Again, if I hide that, hide that, show the publication date, hide the table settings, and hide the select, and click Save. Now when I go over to my list, you'll see that the heading is completely gone. And if I had tried to show the author, I wouldn't have been able to, unless I overwrote it at the menu. Well, let's go ahead and put that back. Show the author and table headings and display select. Click Save. And now again, boom, there's my list back to normal. And I can tell it how many to show. So you can see how quickly and easily you can update the look and feel and the layout of your Joomla content. The shared tab here tells me what my sharing options are, integration for feed, and finally permissions. Once again, we'll look at that towards the end of the course. Well, go ahead and click save and close. And you'll remember we've now made some pretty nice changes to our look and feel of our site already with just a few clicks. I'd encourage you to play with those options to see what they all do, find out what you like the most, and especially what's going to fit best for your situation.